Yeah, I was going between uh, Bainbridge Island and Brownsville Harbor at about 10 o'clock in the morning is when I first uh, saw this object floating in the water. You know what it was? I have no idea what it was. It was unusual and that's part of our job is to look for hazards to navigation. So I came back around to take a look at it and it looked suspicious to me and I thought maybe I should make a phone call. Did you have any idea what it was? Um, no, but I, you know, you, everyone sees things on TV and looks like exactly like the things you see on TV that looks like a, a mine. And I thought to myself, that doesn't look good. So it didn't look like anything I'd ever seen on the water before. I'm familiar with buoys. I'm familiar with derelict vessels, things like that, right. floating garbage. And this was definitely not floating garbage. I called the, the Coast Guard's uh, command center in Seattle and I spoke to them about it. They asked me some questions about it. Uh, I sent them a, a photo of it that I had taken and uh, they contacted the U.S. Navy. The Navy contacted me immediately. Uh, the Navy sent an EOD team uh, out to Brownsville Marina. I picked them up, took them out there, they looked at it and, and they decided they needed to follow up on it further. So I transferred the Navy team to the Coast Guard vessel when it arrived. I stayed on station for a little while until the Coast Guard and the Navy had more assets to stop uh, the uh, vessel traffic in the area. And then uh, once they didn't need my help anymore, I went back to work. I'm not an expert in such, such things, so I called someone who was. And uh, I can't speak highly enough of the Coast Guard and the Navy. They were immediately on top of it and a uh, very professional response. I was very, very impressed with their actions.